Hi everybody out there, my name is Chris Nicholson. This piano right over here is phenomenal. I mean, I played on many of these, but this model, um, I don't know what model it is, but this is such a great, great piano. This piano is called a night piano. This is made in London. And right over here, as you can see, look at this finish. I'm just gonna close it up. This finish, this is a high polish. Just like the high polished black, this is a high polished teak wood. And this comes actually with three pedals. Uh, so you have a sustain, you have a soft, which is a mute pedal, and you also have a, um, a, so a regular soft pedal. Um, right over here, I wish I could pan the camera down, but it's, um, it actually has pillars instead of legs. So there's no legs, it's actually pillars. Um, it's it's an awesome studio. So. I have this up right over here. This has the option that it can actually flip down and flip up, which is really cool. Uh, that's your lid prop. And such curvature. Look at the curvature on this piano. Usually pianos that are made um, in the UK have a curvature on the side of the piano. It's just like this. And unbelievable. Let me play it for you. Let me play it for you. first time actually getting to play this and everything um, it needs a little bit of tweaking it needs a little bit of work it's such a beautiful sound though very very beautiful sound so if I go uh to me it's not even fully fully tuned decent tune but not fully fully tuned and um, the keys they have a different texture on them and it's a little bit I mean it's longer than a regular average upright which is pretty cool uh, so let me do this let me take this off which is gonna be the, um, the paneling right over here so you can see the inside of it and there's two little levers and it comes off like that and this is what the inside actually looks like which is pretty cool just take it off so you can hear it in full form and this is what the inside looks like it actually has a mute rail which is right here and that's going to be the middle pedal let's test that out I mean, it's not bad, not bad. Let's test it out without the mute pedal. Put it back on. Uh, let's let's give it the ragtime test. <laughs> Thank you. 
is a little bit smaller which is which is compact from the size um, and I'm looking at the the way how the scaling is it is very very unique this the mute rail actually screws off so you, you can actually screw from both sides of it and take it off without even just removing the screws from here uh, you have actually wind nuts that do that and very very cool upright as I said it still needs a little bit more TLC a little bit more cleaning it needs a full tune-up this is not the kind of upright that I would use for a ragtime unless if I voice it I don't know if I want to revoice it the hammers have not even been pressed yet which is pretty cool so um, if I do something like a Usually for me, different pianos, I gotta get used to the action. I have to get to know the piano a little bit better. But um, on this piano, I think only thing that has been changed, everything is original. Only thing that has been changed on this piano is this bridal strap right here, which is red. The rest of them are, are the green bridal straps. Um, it doesn't say what kind of action it is. This right over here talks about the damp chaser. Um, and I gotta find out the serial number on this piano is three four zero three four, which is pretty cool. So let me put this back together. It's very easy. This just goes into these little slots right here. And also you can have it like this if you ever read music. It doesn't interfere with the action, and this comes right down. And um, so if I do Once I tweak it up a little bit, a little bit of TLC, it will, it will be great. I don't want to change the voice that much, you know, because I think the voicing on it, it's, it's, it's really good. The tuning, it definitely needs to be tweaked up. It's a little wavy, what they call it. And um, the whole casing and the whole piano needs to be shined up. The, um, the action definitely needs to be, needs to be a little bit um, tweaked up. I say the action needs to be just a little bit softer, more balanced. It's not, it's not fully, fully balanced on it. We'll just keep this up. It's the lid prop, but not bad, right? Man, the piano's rocking because the floor is 
is a little bit uneven, but um, not 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 bad for this piano. Let's try a Christmas song. needs a tweak up but as I said to have one of these in my house it's I can't believe it I can't believe it there's there's a lot of pianos that come through this house alone and where I used to live at before um, but there's a lot of people um, a lot of pianos that come through this house just just alone and sometimes I can't believe that it's even in my own house um, playing these pianos uh, usually I play my Yamaha this Lavera, which is right behind it and uh, this, so this piano came along. I had nowhere else to put it because I have so many pianos in the house. Now I have a, around probably like 20 of them. <laughs> but that's basically, I just wanted to show you what this beautiful uh, knight can do. And um, once I find out the, uh, the model number and more of the description on it, I don't know too much about the knight pianos, but I heard that they call it like the Steinway of London, which is really, really neat. A lot of people in the UK and London, they really, really love the night pianos. And um, we, I, I've seen a lot of these. I've seen a lot of these. And I played uh, numerous ones of these, but not in this finish. i never seen one in this teak wood um, high polish finish. I mean, I can actually see my reflection on here, which is really good. And I hope you can see it through the light. But very good. Well, I'm going to make more videos on this piano uh, after I tweak it up. And, um, you know, just give your input. What do you think about it right now? This is not, this hasn't been tuned. This hasn't been touched. Um, it's just basically just was sitting there. Not collecting dust. I should say not say collecting dust because there's not that much dust on it, which is pretty cool. Um, and I checked the tuning. It's a little bit, a little bit flat. On it, so but it still holds its uh, stability. And it's easy here, you hear the little bit of waviness, so but not bad for an awesome studio piano. As I said, Paul, Mo yeah, Paul McCartney uh, uses this piano, he uses this piano basically. Um, it's not this model, but it's a different model. That he uses it on um, on a gig. He has actually a night piano that's fully, fully painted and colored, and um, it looks very, very nice. Um, so, for me to actually play this piano and have one in my house is a pleasure. All right, so um, let me do um, one more song, which I'm gonna do is basically let's see, how about this? <laughs>
yes, it's going to need a lot, a lot of tweaking. And uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Click like, subscribe, follow me on everything. I love you guys. Um, and you get to see more of my piano collection that I actually put on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. So if you guys are not following me on those uh, social media sites, please follow me. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. YouTube, I am KMN Keyboard Vault, or you could just type in Chris Nicholson and it'll show my page. Um, Instagram, I'm Chris Nicholson, and Facebook, I'm Chris Nicholson. You just gotta look for the brown guy with the, with the bashy hair. That's all you have to do. <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you so much. Um, by the way, happy Hanukkah to everybody, and um, happy holidays. I'll see ya.